Hi everyone, Jim O'Brill here with Drive Chicago. Today we're taking a look at the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. Dating back to 1985, the Pathfinder enters its fifth generation for 2022 with a complete overhaul. The exterior design is more bold and rugged than the previous generation, and under the hood it gets a 3.5 liter V6 that gets 284 horsepower mated to an all-new 9-speed transmission. It's available in either front or all-wheel drive. Towing capacity has increased to 6,000 pounds, and inside it features flexible seating to accommodate up to eight passengers. Updated technology and new driver assist features round out the overhaul. I've been driving this Platinum Edition, so let's hop in and take a closer look at the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. As a child of the 80s, I can remember thinking the first generation Pathfinder was one of the coolest SUVs around. This all new 2022 model stylistically has that rugged appeal of the original. It has a strong presence with good proportions. It features a wider stance with a bold front fascia that gives Nissan's V-Motion grille a more brawny vibe. On either side are C-shaped headlights that stretch into the fenders with standard LEDs including the upper portion which serve as the daytime running lights. Attention to detail carries over to the side profile where a lower body cladding outlines the wheel arches and is complemented by chrome accent strips along the lower portion of the windows. An available two-tone paint separates the roof line from the body to give it a floating roof appearance. Around back, Nissan adopts the trend of spelling out the model name across the hatch, and it does it better than most. The license plate position has dropped to the bumper and LED taillights have a horizontal blocky feel that connect to the new Nissan emblem at the center. Either 18 or 20 inch wheels are available in a variety of finishes. This one is equipped with a 20 inch wheels in a machined aluminum alloy with dark metallic gray finish. Both sizes pair with all season tires that include a tire pressure monitoring system and a temporary spare. A single powertrain is offered in either front or all-wheel drive. All models feature a 3.5 liter direct injection V6 that generates 284 horsepower with 259 pound-feet of torque. It's paired with an all-new 9-speed automatic transmission that is a big improvement over the previous generation's continuously variable transmission. Acceleration is adequate and the new transmission smoothly shifts through the gears as it gets going. It's slightly faster than the previous model going 0-60 to 60 in around 7 seconds. The Pathfinder delivers a smooth ride with improved suspension that handles winter roads in Chicago well. Nissan upgraded the power steering system to provide a more stable driving experience. The new intelligent four-wheel drive system includes a seven-position drive and terrain mode selector. Modes can be adjusted via the dial in the center console and include standard, sport, eco, snow, sand, mud or rut, and tow. It will detect low traction situations before they become a problem. Unfortunately, there is still no low-range gear for more adventurous off-roading like the original Pathfinder, but there's always hope. One feature that stands out is ProPilot Assist, which is an intelligent cruise control that will identify your speed and location relevant to other vehicles at the touch of a button. The system will not only adjust speeds up and down amidst traffic, but will also keep it centered in the lane between road markings. If road markings are non-existent or faded, the vehicle will notify the driver that the function is inactive. The system is easy to use via steering wheel controls and the information is visible in the digital instrument cluster. Beyond ProPilot Assist, every Pathfinder is equipped with Nissan Safety Shield 360, which includes features such as automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, and much more. Other available features include blind spot intervention, intelligent lane intervention, and traffic sign recognition. When it arrived with a full 18.5 gallon fuel tank, it offered a range of around 415 miles. EPA estimates are 22 miles per gallon and it runs on regular grade fuel and after a week of suburban driving, I averaged 21 miles per gallon. Hopping inside, drivers will face a 12.3 inch digital cluster that is easy to navigate and changes visually with the various drive modes. An available 10.8 inch head-up display is also available which can be customized to show speed, navigation, or other content on the windshield. Adjacent to the digital cluster is a digital touchscreen that's affixed to the outside of the dash for a more industrial look. Standard screens are 8 inches while higher trims come with a 9 inch screen. All models utilize Nissan Connect to interface wirelessly with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Other available options include a Bose Premium Audio System, a Wi-Fi hotspot, navigation, and a digital intelligent around view monitor which features higher resolution and wider image viewing to minimize blind spots. Seats come in either cloth upholstery or leather. The leather seats come with a unique quilting pattern and are available in both heated and ventilated. 
Seats are both supportive and comfortable. The eight passenger models come with a bench seat in the second row, while seven passenger models utilize captain's chairs. The third row is improved over the previous generation and provides more space than many competitors. Access to the third row is easy via one touch button on either side that will slide and tip the seats forward. Behind the third row is 16.6 .6 cubic feet of cargo space along with a large underfloor storage area. With the third row folded flat, cargo space is increased to 45 cubic feet, and with the second row folded flat it totals 80.5 cubic feet, which is overall below many competitors. This new Pathfinder is a huge step forward that should appeal to buyers like myself who grew up admiring the first generation but now have families of their own to haul. The 9-speed transmission is a welcomed improvement to the overall smooth ride and buyers will be pleased with the 6,000 pound towing capacity. Inside is a much more refined interior with current technology. The new Pathfinder has an it factor that stands out and surprises people. Heads were turning when neighbors saw it in the driveway and passengers thought highly of their ride in it. The Pathfinder should not be overlooked in this segment as this new model has undergone a makeover that is sure to impress. That's a wrap of my review of the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. This one easily accommodated my family of five and left room in the back for groceries. For the full review, visit drivechicago.com and be sure to subscribe below for even more automotive content. And give us a follow on our other social media channels including Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Jim O'Brill with Drive Chicago. Thanks for watching.